Welcome back to the channel and episode 32 of The Clean Sweep. Today we are in London at the Excel Centre for the UK's largest cleaning show. The cleaning show has been going for a number of years now. Unfortunately, we've missed it the last few years, but we're here today and we're going to take you guys round and check out some of the suppliers and see what they've got to offer. So let's head inside and see what's going on. So we are at our iTeam colleagues stand at the National Cleaning Show and I've got Harry Robinson with me. He's gonna run us through some of the kit that these guys are showing at the expedition. For any of those uh, viewers of our channel, which that should be all of you by now, we've done plenty of content with iTeam and we've actually visited their HQ in Eidenhoven. So Harry, welcome back to the channel because he's, uh, he's been on it before. Run us through the IMOP and what you've got going on at the yeah. show today. So we've actually got two stands here at the show. Uh, obviously we're at the London Cleaning Show at the XL. Uh, we've got a larger stand at the other side of the hall, which Chris has just been over. Looks and, awesome. Uh, yeah, it looks really good. And then we're actually stood at our smallest stand over here, which is dedicated to Orbot, which is a brand new uh, range of machines. But I'll, I'll let that uh, for my colleague to talk about. Just thought I'd just quickly show everybody the uh, IMOP light. So a couple of uh, new features with the IMOP light itself is we've got what I like to call the George Clooney tank. This is uh, called the George Clooney tank because you've got Nespresso style pod. coffee pods on there. <laughs> then we've also got a really cool feature here, which is a magnetic floor stand. So a lot of IMOPs in the past, people have been uh, complaining that the IMOP may fall over. Uh, they want to actually stop quickly and actually use the machine. So this will actually be used in use. And then obviously parked up and it's not going to fall over, it's going to stay in that position. Ready to use straight away. Yeah. And this one is actually the lightest machine in the range. It's 11 and a half kilos and it's designed so you can lift it up and take it up stairways and clean mezzanine levels, yeah. for, for instance. I don't think I've seen the slimmer model and it's definitely a lot sleeker. And I say, yeah. it looks a lot lighter. So, yeah. And that addition with the stand, that's, that's a good addition. Yeah. Well, it's designed to be 50% lighter than the original IMOP you've yeah. already got. Um, and it also means that it's 11 and a half kilos. So it's when more than get upstairs. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Always with iMop, fantastic piece of kit, replacing the traditional mop and bucket. There's lots of science behind that. So if you haven't seen our video with iTeam, that will be down below. Do you want to get your colleague show us the Orbot? Yep, sure. So we're with Harry's colleague Jack, and we're looking at the Orbot machine. Now I've actually heard of this machine. I haven't seen it in action. So Jack's going to give us a little bit of a demonstration about what this does. Jack, tell me what it does. Yeah, cheers, Chris. So this is uh, the Orbot Slim. So this is sort of the entry level Orbot into the range. It's an 11 inch uh, machine, which does a dual action clean. So what it does, it sort of works circular, but also oscillates, so it goes okay. side to side. Yeah. And it's really simple to use. So it's got a lithium battery just in the bottom of the machine here. Okay. It's got a one hour continuous runtime. And to use it, lower down the handle here, and you simply turn it on with the button at the top, that will activate the pad on the actual floor, and you then have one other lever to actually release the water or the chemical, and um, what it will do is lay the chemical and the water onto the surface and draw all the dirt into the pad itself. So at the minute we have it set up to be used on um, the carpet with the Supersaw pad, but we have a whole host of different accessories too, which can be used on uh, different surfaces like hard floors, tiles, concrete. Um, so we can use these machines in a whole host of different environments. So it's got a wide range of carpets. Yeah, which I think um, when I've seen it before, Jack, it's been predominantly used for carpets that yep. I've seen. Does it give really good results with carpets? Yeah, so it's fantastic. Because we use a, a encapsulation chemical called Environ, yep. and what that does, it draws the dirt up to the top of the surface and it captures all the dirt within the pad itself. And it gives them really nice worry factors into yep. the carpet and then some nice strips you see and we all post the pictures. Yeah, I've, I've seen plenty of the stuff on, on social. Obviously you've got the bigger machines, they're yep. just simply for bigger areas, I imagine. That's right, yeah. So this is the 11 inch model. Then we have also the Life here, which is a 17 inch model. Again, it's a lithium battery, three hour run time. And again, it's quite simple to use. One button to fire it up. And then this will actually just work on the same principle it works on the oscillating uh, machine uh, and it has the jets at the front too. So if you do want to release the water or the chemical, you can just simply do that with the pad itself 
Uh, and again, we have all the accessories available in these machines for different surfaces and textured floors. Yeah. So it's really quite um, unique in a way because yeah. they for like sanding, scrubbing, polishing, stripping floors, marble restoration. We can work in all sorts of different environments, really. So versatile. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And yeah. What's, the, what's, the, what's the reason behind the, the oscillating? Is there a particular reason for that? Or? Yeah, so the, the, what behind that is, it's because um, it gives a better clean on the, 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 the surface okay. or the texture uh, floors you're working on. So instead of just circular, it's going side to side. It's sort of agitating the dirt yeah. from the from the actual surface to give them better results on the actual floor itself. That's yeah. sort of the, the theory the behind now. it. Yeah. Well, it's a great piece of kit. Thank you to Jack and the team at I Team as always. We'll put a link down below if you guys want to check out more information. So let's go and see what else we can find at the shop. So well, we have another supplier. We've got Ollie here from Big Change. Now I have been engaging with Big Change for some time now about using their system for both of our businesses, both JCD and Greywater Drainage, so there's a crossover between lots of different industries. I haven't managed to give him my herd of money yet, but Ollie is close, nonetheless. So, he's gonna give us a little bit of a demo today and tell us what Big Change does. So, Ollie, over to you. I'll take him up on that, I can assure <laughs> you. Yeah, so I'm Ollie, as Chris has said, and Big Change, we work with a number of, number of industries, um, cleaning being one of them, drainage being another, but essentially service-based industries, and we help them plan, manage, schedule, and track their mobile workforce, track their jobs, get tighter at invoicing in the office. Uh, it's an all-in-one system, and it's cloud-based, and I can show you a little bit about what we do today. Um, so as we can see here, we have a, a live schedule, so air traffic control. I can see my operatives, Gary, George, Harry. This is the daily view. I can see what, what jobs they've got on on any given day. I can see James has been out to site this morning to complete a general clean, and he was due there from nine till 10. I can click in and download a copy of his job report. So what did James do on the job? So he was planned in at this time. He might have completed a dynamic risk assessment and answered some questions. He might have taken some photographs before work, after work, pre-clean, post-clean. Uh, and this all comes back, feeds back from the field through our mobile tablet, which is here. So the operative would click into a job, would find all of his job details, site plans, maps, RAMs, risk assessments, etc., And he can work through and document anything that needs to be captured as part of that particular job. And that's totally bespoke for every job, Ollie. And every in. job that can be bespoke, yeah. Um, as I say, whether it's cleaning, whether it's drainage, if you've got men or women out and about doing jobs, for you. It changes the way. And you can do, if I remember right, we can do route planning with your vans as well? Yeah, so we include hardwired vehicle tracking. So as you can see on the, on the screen, we can locate a particular vehicle. I can see where the vehicle is. If they've been out and about on a given day, it'll track the journey data. Uh, cost to the business. So we can import a pence per mile for the vehicle. We know the labor rate of the operative and that'll give us a running live cost of what that day out looked like. Uh, and it'll do all your good stuff, driver behavior, speeding, cornering, harsh acceleration as yeah. well. Yeah, so there's a big push towards data-driven cleaning in the cleaning industry specifically. So this, a big change, is a fantastic tool if you're looking for more quantitative data of where your operatives are going, what jobs they're completing, how they're traveling, and that'll help with obviously carbon emissions as well. So a fantastic tool all around. We'll put the link down in the bio below if you guys want to look out and check out Big Change a bit more. Holly, thanks for showing us around, mate. That's great. Top man. Perfect. So we are with one of our suppliers, the team from IS. I've got Mitch with me. Mitch, tell me a little bit about the latest robot that you've got in the ICE family. Hi, thank you, Chris. Um, so this is the uh, ICE Fantas. Okay, this is our latest uh, machine in the family. So what it is, it's a combination machine. It can vacuum and it can scrub and dry. Okay, it's got a five hour run time and a four hour charge. It can detect things up to two centimeters and get very close to an edge. Um, so we're allowed to go into those different areas as well. Yeah. So. Is this one of the first robot in your family of cobotics that can do two tasks at once? Yes, yes. So it's 
It's the first, yep. okay, which can get into in those in, areas. In the entire cleaning industry? Uh, in our family of robots. Okay. So what that means is you, if you have multiple machines within that, um, within an area, yep. okay, you can only learn the software once. Okay. So you can learn to use a vacuum, you can learn to use a scrubber dryer. Yep. So okay. they're getting more for their money, basically. Right. And the mapping process, is that still yep. relatively simple? So the mapping process is done on an app, but it's done using the same technology as all the others. Right. So okay. you scan the area, yep. and then it auto fills, and you clean that area. Right. And the yep. runtime on this particular machine? The runtime is five hours, five hours, and you get a four hour charge. Right. You can also get a docking station as well with it. Yep. Um, so it can be scheduled to come out and clean uh, if so it needs to at certain, certain times. Time yeah. yeah. Okay. And what we find is because it can do multiple things, it's becoming more human. You sure. know. So what it's doing is alleviating some of that pressure to be, you know, worked elsewhere. Yeah. And then the docking station, which is there's yeah. one behind us, yeah. that literally goes there, it charges. It goes there, charges. If you don't hours. have a docking station? Uh, it will just finish wherever you want it to finish. Right, okay. You put in that point yeah. and it will go and finish there. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, another fantastic bit of kit from ICE. As with all our suppliers, we'll put a link down in the comments below. Mitch, thank you for showing thank us. Thank you now. very much. Pleasure. Another great machine. So we have another supplier of ours, Soap2. We've just spoke to Jordan. We've also got Rich with us. Now Rich is going to tell us a little bit about what the guys at Soap do. It's a fantastic and ever-growing product. Rich, tell me a little bit about what Soap does. Okay, so at soap to oil we're a soap manufacturer where we manufacture the concentrated soap. Okay. So instead of shipping water, we yeah. ship the soap. So this sachet is a litre's worth of soap. So what you would do is you put four of these into a four litre jug, of, um, into our four litre bottle, yeah. give it a shake, wait five minutes, and then you've got perfect hand soap. So like foam soap comes just foam out of soap, that product? Foam soap, absolutely, yeah. yeah. So as you can see from the visual here, a normal 43, that's 43 pallets worth of soap, we can fit into one pallet. So the sustainability and the cost saving on CO2 is absolutely unbelievable. Yeah. And for every 30 litres of soap, so every 30 sachets purchased, we donate a thousand litres of fresh drinking water to Africa yep. through the May Blue Foundation. Really good to see you're part of that. Yeah. You guys have been growing yeah, yeah. crazy. I've seen yeah. their stuff on LinkedIn. Is it mainly the sustainability piece that really sells the product for you? It, it, the, well, there's four angles really. So you've got, it's a premium product. So if you're looking for a premium product, it smells amazing. Mm. It's really good quality soap. You've got the sustainability. So instead of shipping the water, we ship the soap. Yeah. You've got the cost implementations as well. So it's far cheaper than any of the soaps out there. Okay. But it's also the impact that it's having on people's CSR by being able to donate water yeah. to the things like the May Blue Foundation. Okay. Is that the only product that you guys have got on the no. market? So this is a product that we've had on the market now for about 12 to 18 months. Yeah. We've now, we're launching the show this week, our body wash right. and the hand um, gel soap. Got any so around, liquid soap. Me? We've got some over here. So. This is one of our bottles, so this is the perfect foaming soap. Really nice smell, really nice lather. Let's have a go. Smells good. It does, I okay. can confirm. So then we brought out the liquid soap. So this is again, comes into a sachet, sachet exactly the same, goes into the four litre mixing bottle, dilutes and you come out as a, as a liquid soap. And we've also got our um, body wash as well, which has been launched at the show this week as well. Okay. It's perfect things like hotel, yeah. in the showers and, and, and that sort of so thing. So they would effectively reuse the plastic bottles that Absolutely. they've got on Absolutely. site, yeah. all of the small containers, yeah. and then just fill it up. Absolutely, yeah. So again, you're reducing your plastic yep. with... So, so this is this is a recycled bottle. Everything part of it is recycled. Yeah. It's a bottle for life, so it's not going to go anywhere. Yeah. It's, it's durable, it's sustainable, and it's going to be on a bracket next to a shower and used in a hotel. Yeah. So soap have been, as I mentioned, growing at a fantastic rate. It's one definitely to keep an eye on. And as with all of our suppliers, we'll put a link down in the comments for you guys if you want to go and check these guys out. Rich, thank you for telling me a little bit about soap. No problem. Okay, we're on to the next one. So we are with one of our suppliers, the Ivo Group. They are nice and local to us. We've got Nick from Accentra. Now these are fantastic pieces of kit. We've actually done a standalone video with these. So we'll put that down in the link below for you guys to check out. So Nick, tell me what these fantastic machines do. Yeah, thank you, Chris. So these machines are the Accenture machines and they work according to the Accenture method. And the Accenture method is based on five principles, right? So first of all, we have a square shape. Yeah, usually is, they're round, right? Exactly, so all the alternatives are round, yeah. which I believe is not really clever because you cannot clean any corners. Yeah, true, true. So with a square machine, you're able to reach the corners and awkward places. So that's the first benefit. The second benefit is that we reduce chemical usage by 95%. Okay. So traditional equipment, you always use chemicals and water. Yeah. Here in 95% of the cases, just water. 
Okay. Only when you have a lot of lime scale yeah. or a lot of grease, we use some, some chemicals. Yeah. The third benefit is that it's really easy to operate. That you have tested the machine yourself, no, it, right? No, I mean, to be, it's idiot proof if there is such a thing. With yeah. a traditional rotary machine, they can take some getting used to for people that are new to using that machine. So, yeah. no, these are really simple to use. Exactly, very ergonomic, yep. easy to work with. So that's one of the other benefits. And then we have a deep cleaning effect. Okay. So when you're working with a uh, rotational machine, like a standard single disc machine or scrubber dryer, you have a long motion, a yep. round motion. And you can never deep clean, right? Because the fibers are going in one direction. And with a very short seven millimeter movement, yep. we are able to actually deep clean. So we do have stick machines for um, like not the typical daily work, but more the deep cleaning, uh, renovation on natural stone, stripping of surfaces. Yeah. For that uh, applications, we have the stick machines. Okay. And then a little bit further, we have the scrubber dryers. Let's have a look at that. So the scrubber dryers um, have the same benefits. So also the eccentric scrub deck, but then they are meant for daily use. Every day. Yeah. So you have your clean water on board, um, even a solution tank on board, so the machine does your dosing automatically. Okay. Yeah, your wastewater tank, so you scrub with fresh water, and then you extract the dirty water to your wastewater tank. Yeah. And it's super easy to operate it, uh, Chris. You have like two different settings. You push basic for basic cleaning when your floor is not too dirty. Is that like everyday cleaning? Everyday cleaning. Yep. And when you have a more dirty surface, you go for heavy cleaning. So what's the difference between the two? What, what setting does that change if I press this one? Is it the speed it moves Yeah, at? good question. Sure. Yeah. So you have uh, around 30% more RPM okay. working on the heavy duty uh, yep. um, modus. Uh, you have a little bit more chemicals, right. a little bit more water because right. you need to rinse the floor yeah, yeah. better. And also 30% more vacuum power. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that picks up. The unit, obviously, the one we've trialed, comes with so many different pads for varying different floor types. How many pads does it, does it, does it come with in the range? Uh, I would say, like, in general, you have around 35 different pads. Depending on the, what type of floor. Exactly. Yeah, Yeah, for the extension method. And it doesn't matter if you have the smallest or the biggest version. Yeah. Those are all available for all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I found that really useful, having the varying different pads for different floor types, and that was ultra useful because sometimes if you've got a particular type of floor and you're using a rotary machine with a black pad, it, you don't necessarily get the good results and you've yeah. got to do work with your hands on top Absolutely. of that. So this really is a one fit solution for all your flooring needs. It's a fantastic one and it's the most badass floor cleaning equipment on the market, as we know. So Nick, thank you for showing us around, my friend. <laughs> Another great find at the cleaning show. So a super interesting day at the XL and the National Cleaning Show. That wraps it up for 2023. Some fantastic products, great suppliers and great networking. I'm actually back here tomorrow for a day of networking and to do some more talks with some suppliers. Thanks for checking in. I hope you found this video useful. As always, make sure you like and subscribe and we will catch you on the next episode of The Clean Sweep.